It is with the best of intentions and a sincere desire to protect and serve the citizens of Frederick County that I ask you for a few minutes of your time to share some ways for us to move forward and some observations of mine from the past 10 months. Change is hard. I come to you prepared to lead with 36 years experience and a formal education. I am proud to be here and honored that the Board of County Commissioners chose me to lead this fine organization. What I see are many talented, skilled, and well-trained people, full of tradition, pride, dedication, working hard to serve the citizens of Frederick County. The majority of members have been friendly and welcoming, others fearful and protective of their life's work. I understand and respect those that are not so quick to trust. However, the fact remains that we must come together and we need each other. Let's work to ensure pride is our virtue, not our vice. I am concerned for your safety and the safety of the citizens of Frederick County. Our environment, to include technology and standards, is changing every day. 9-11 is an example of just how drastically the world has changed and how dangerous our job truly is. We have many target hazards in Frederick County, Fort Detrick, the railways, and Camp David, to name a few. We need to come together as a system because together we are much stronger. Apart, we most certainly will fail. We need to admit that we should look outside the confines of Frederick County and adopt best practices and lessons learned from our partners. After all, isn't the fire service one big family? We come together in droves when a firefighter dies in the line of duty. We cry together and we support one another. However, we resist the very change that helps prevent these tragedies. Change that will protect our people and allow us to serve our citizens more efficiently. Instead of working separately, we need to channel that energy into one system and support each other. When we arrive on the scene of a working incident, let's take our assigned positions and do the best job that we can. The first arriving chief officer should take command. The rest of us command officers should support him or her by scribing and ensuring that chief has all of the individuals accounted for and clearly has communicated the strategy so that proper tactics can be employed. Working together means freelancing is a thing of the past. Freelancing is dangerous and most certainly will lead to disaster. When we work together on policies, let's remember they are in the best interest of everyone. Certainly things have changed and requirements have become more stringent. Let's ask why before we condemn those policies and simply say it's to discourage our members. I would argue it's to encourage and keep our members safe. I would much rather have rules in place and ensure their safety than I would visit them in the hospital or attend their funeral. It truly comes down to that. Our organization must be proactive rather than reactive. One major lawsuit could destroy a corporation's reputation and the counties as well. Why not heed the warning from our brothers and sisters around the country that have died in the line of duty, hoping we would learn from their event and not let their death be in vain. Thank you so much and stay safe.